we're gonna do a um, little session here with my keen. This is the first time I've had the guys up to the house to film this. We're gonna make a few retrieves. I haven't been doing much um, since her since she teased. Um, she's about five and a half months right now, a little over five and a half months. And you can tell she's pretty pretty amped up about it, which is good. She retrieved really well um, in really con controlled situations. This has been the spot she's been good. So as we go back to it, I'm gonna set it up the exact same way. I'm gonna sit where I sat, I'm gonna throw the way I threw. We're gonna make a retrieve very similar to what we've been doing. Try to find a little success, make sure we haven't lost much. There's no way I'm making a retrieve with her outside yet. Um, two things happen. One is she doesn't want to bring it back to me. The second is, is eventually she just loses interest in it and drops it and moves on to the next thing. She's not the strength of the retriever that my Labradors are. And that's really okay with me. Um, it's not my, my focus by any means and it's not what we've been working on. But I also think that I, I don't want to put it off. I'd like to develop a little bit of what we can get out of it because eventually I, you know, ultimately I do want her to retrieve, have the ability to retrieve. So using a puppy dummy, I, before we stopped retrieving, we did start working on a little bit of steadiness, meaning I don't let her just break. I've been working on a little bit of steadiness with almost like a whoa, a real easy whoa training. I, you can see I've got, no, we've got two puppies in the kennels out the, back there, so that's distracting. It's gonna be noisy and it's probably more of a test of patience on my part because I can't stand the whining stuff, but you'll get through with it. We'll deal with it easy, easy. Now she broke, that's okay. Let her get that first one. Good girl, come on. Good girl, that's it, come on. And she loves bringing it back in, that's good. Good. Real nice. You can tell she's a little hesitant. She's always hesitant to the vent over there. She's always hesitant to the rug a little bit. Share it back with her. Good. She's she's getting to be a real um, little warmer dog. She never used to want to cuddle that much with me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This time I'm going to ask her to be a little steady. Easy. 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 Makina, Makina. Good girl. Good girl. Right here. That girl comes back with nice, nice enthusiasm. I'm gonna let her be good with, she wants to lay down a little bit. As long as she's with me, I don't mind. I don't want her laying down away from me. Here, come here. I've not done this, I'm gonna try to make a little incremental step of See how she does when I kneel instead of being down. Here, here, watch, 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 watch. Makina, Makina. Good girl, that a girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There, no difference, very good. It actually keeps her up a little bit, so that's good. So I'm gonna, that's a step. Standing up, I don't think she'd bring it back to me nearly as well. Put it back in her mouth, let her hold it. Good, good. She doesn't, I don't have this feeling of her wanting to run off with it. If she were, I'd be a little bit more careful. I'm actually gonna give her a little bit of freedom. I don't wanna necessarily be, have her feel like I'm pinning her down. I don't want her to run off with it. I, 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 come here, don't want that. Come here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, so I coax her to me. Don't want her laying down. Don't want her getting in the habit of laying down to chew on it. Watch, watch. Here, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Makina. Good girl. Change dummies, not a major difference, but it is a different dummy. Repeat the same thing, good dog. Beautiful, I love that one. Ben's dog, just rowdy. Might have been blue. Okay, Ben, come over this way. Move the camera. Um, I'm gonna change positions here and see if this works. So we're on the fly, guys. Spry, come here. Spry, come on. Spry, come on. Spry, go lay down. Let's try this. I'm gonna go right here, scoot your over. All I'm doing is going from this direction to this direction. This has proven to be trouble in the past. She's, 
We practice it here since the beginning. She got really good at it. This has taken a little bit of work to get her to make the retrieve in a different spot. This is, a, this is the perfect example of like changing one little element can really throw these guys off. So let's see how she does. Watch, watch, watch. Now I don't even know if I want to ask her to be steady to be honest. I'm going to let her break on it if she wants to watch. Good dog, right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Makina, here. Come on. That a girl. Oh, you're good. See what I did? I changed my body language. I sat down because I know she comes back to this better. I peeped that whistle. I know she recalls the whistle really well. So I'm ready. I was ready. I made a couple changes. We got her. Got the dogs fired up too. It's the power of that whistle. Watch. She had to dig that one out. Good job. Come on. Makina here. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. There. Right now. Good dog. You're so good. Here, here, here. Here, here, here. Easy. Easy. Right here. Come here. You can tell my energy really impacts the dogs. I can get them pretty fired up. I can get her to resist the idea of laying down and chewing on this with my energy. And I can push her over to get her back to me. Easy. Easy. And then I got to get her refocused. Good. And you hear it with the puppies. If I get real worked up, they'll start whining. But when my energy is kind of settle down, be calm. Good. This is the kind of stuff you have to recognize. Like when you're, if you're with your retriever and the retriever boils over, how do you keep him from doing it? You don't allow yourself to get boiled over. With her, when I start to steady her up in the field, I'm gonna have to be able to touch her like this without getting her too excited. Good. And I'm gonna have to go to her without having her feel pressure and ramped up energy. Girl, come on. That's it. Come on. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on. Makina. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a girl. Good job. So, if we can do this, I think with some more consistency. Good. Nope. Chin up. Good. Hold, hold, good, hold, 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 dead, dead, good, hold, 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 good girl, right here, come here, come here. Makina, come here. Come on. No, no, no. We're not going to get down like that. Come on. Yeah. Getting a little picky. Maybe I, maybe too picky for the way the session's gone. I might have maybe should have just ended this positive, but I want her to take a step to me. Come here. Come on. Come on. Here, there you go. That's it. And there's the best delivery yet today to end it on. Good job. Chin up. I haven't paid any attention to delivery. I just kind of realized that. I didn't even care where her head was. I didn't care if she laid down with me. I didn't care if she laid on me. I didn't care if she, what she was doing as long as she got it back to me. And then I started seeing that, you know what? I can get her back to me. She'll bring it back to me. So then I changed a few things and that threw, her to, threw a little curveball. 
And so now this last rep, good, hold, is the first time I've said hold the whole time. Hold. It's the first time I said, no, your chin's got to be up. Good. And her tail's going. Her tail's happy. Hold. Hold. And now she's learning a little bit about the idea of, well, I, he actually wants me to hold it a certain way. Good. Dead. Good. And so we end this session on, first it was just get her to come back. Then it was get her to come back with a little bit different look. Both me from sitting to kneeling to the direction, change stuff. Get through it. Get the desired behavior. And now the very end, I'm going, man, you did really good today. Let's end this with a nice little hold. And I really wanted to end it with that idea of hold, hold, hold. Good. Come here. Come here. Good. There's the best delivery again of the day. Second best. Good. Dead. So that very ending is how I want eventually all of the retrieves to be. But... We can't, we can't tackle it all at once. So the delivery doesn't matter if the dog doesn't bring it back. So you gotta get, you gotta get the, do, the, the, the bringing it back doesn't matter if the dog won't go out. So we struggled with her going out in the very beginning. That was where the food stuff helped us. She chased food like my retrievers chase dummies. And we, we, we unlocked it a little bit, I think, with that. Then we got the idea of run out, pick it up, bring it back. Now today is the first time we've shared the dummy back and forth. We've tried to get as best hold as we could leading up to this, but it really hasn't been much of a focus or concern. Today, that was the first time I went, you got a delivery, you, you're retrieving. Now take one step and hold your chin up with it and actually hold it the way I'd like you to in the end. Baby, baby, baby steps. But great session. Zero chance of doing this outside. Zero. She's not doing it. Um, there's a sense of relief in me right now of she's doing it in the in the house again, and we really got aggressive and went two directions with it. So that's real good. A perfect session. Pretty short, pretty sweet, but you get to see like the first time I've done it since she teased. You get to see the that you've you've seen the very you've seen you've seen nearly every retrieve retrieving session I've done with her. So I don't know where we're at in the series right now as far as episodes, but if you look back on them, you would have seen, I bet you I've made, if I've retrieved one or two times without filming, like with the phone or the GoPro, and now these guys, that would be the most. So you're seeing it all, and that's really what we're trying to do is capture everything as best we can. So. Um, still going on free walks with her. She pointed some woodcock. Uh, ben had the footage of that. I handed it off. You, you would have seen it by now in, in an episode prior, but um, we're opening up this little bird dog. We're opening up a dog to get confident and run. We're working on heel work and footwork. Um, while I got, it's kind of raining outside, so we're probably not going to film out there. I don't like to piggyback lessons, but real quick, we're just going to turn. We don't do this in the house very often, so this could be a challenge. See if those feet dial in. Good. So no different than what I would have done in the driveway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She stiffens up here because she goes, where, where am I going to go? Come on. Good. I think this heel work right here, getting really good at heel work, is Double, double dipping. I get really nice. It's really nice to travel with her. It's really nice to go places with her. It's really nice to be in crowds where there's lots of dogs and she is the least excitable and she's under the most control with that lead on. That's beneficial. I also think that when we get out and start walking, come on now, pay attention. I think when we get out and start walking, it's hard for her in this tight little space. When we go on our free walks and our exploring walks and our little walks through cover, I think that she 100% has better connection with me out there at 50, 60, 70, 80 yards. I know I feel better about it because I feel like she's tied to me. 
I can sense her, I can feel her, I can get a rhythm for her gait, I can start to feel her at a distance, and it feels real good. Where if I didn't have this control at one foot, I think I'd question my control at that distance. She recalls nicely, um, that's all foundational fun stuff from the beginning that we've worked on. And I think it pays off, not only here, but I think it pays off out there. And I really believe that that is gonna be part of our key like her steadiness. Heel, heel. Whoa. We've been working on this. Just understanding that means stop. Good. Good. Got to be able to do it everywhere, not just outside. Good. She's real relaxed inside, too which doesn't always get as relaxed outside. Good. Tail's even almost wagging a touch. Good. Really nice focus for her age. Ah, ah, ah. Turn my shoulder so I don't put so much pressure onto her. Good. Good. Good heel. I know some people are going to watch this and go, man, you shouldn't be doing that with a dog that young. I get it. Whoa. The thing is, is I think this is going to be one of my keys to being able to do the stuff I want to do with her without that collar. I just really think that my connection has to be that much better with her. My feel has to be that much better with her. Her understanding of what I'm asking her has to be that much so that when things really get hectic and there's birds involved and all that stuff, we're not doing any of this stuff around birds. We're trying to ignite the bird part and you'll see some of that too. You have seen some of that and we're gonna to continue to do that. But when we separate them from the bird, I'm gonna put this in early thinking that when we get to the point where we have the excitement on the chase and the bird and she works through that and then we have the control of the heel work and the yard stuff, and then we get to the point where we want to tie the two together and have them start looking at some steadiness on the bird and to the flush and to the shot and all that stuff. Because we're good over here and we're good over here, I think we can get in the middle a little bit easier without having to have too much of this or too much of this and having an issue of figuring out where the middle is. That's just really what I'm thinking and we're gonna find out, I think. Good. That's a good little girl. So that's it. Good session.